Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Back again for another video for everybody. You know, <laughs> I, you, you hear me laughing. It's because the story I'm about to tell you, you, you just got to shake your head. Because social media cannot be your best friend or your worst enemy. In this case, it was a worst enemy for these teenage girls in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. So this is basically how this story goes. On Monday, a group of five teenage girls swiped the tip jar at a Dairy Queen. They now, of course, these girls fled. They fled the um, dairy shops, and you know, other cu the customers inside the store took photos of them in a getaway car and their plates. Okay. They shared their photos with police who are investigating robbery. Those photos alone may not have been enough to let police to the girls, but Hope says what what the accused teen thieves did next truly surprised her. Get, hey, this is what they did. The five girls posted a video clip of themselves in the car waving what appears to be cash from robbery to Snapchat. I told you about social media. The caption and then the caption says, "quote robbed Dairy Queen tip jar," end quote, and they send it to all their friends on Snapchat. <laughs> so basically, what the um, what the officer, uh, the, well, the owner of the shop, Liz Hopes, she quoted, "I think they are stupid. I mean, really, who does that? They should be on dumbest criminals." Hope told Fox uh, Detroit. In addition to the footage of the girls allegedly committing the robbery, cops may now have their hands on a confession. It is not clear if the police have located the young woman as of yet. Yeah, man. And basically, you know, the cops were still investigating, and Hope just says that she doesn't want them to go to jail, but she hopes that this is a lesson. You know, we, we, we've all got apps. we got Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, the whole nine. And while social media can be used as a powerful thing, in this case, they were definitely not the brightest crayons in the box. How, first of all, you're swiping the tip jar, which I'm pretty sure... In, in this, it, it had enough money, but I'm pretty sure, it, yeah, they are, they, they're teen, they, they got to be teenagers. So they think, oh yeah, man, we we going to swipe this tip jar, man, we throwing all this money in the air. So, not only did they make a Snapchat video, and they tagged it saying, we robbed this Dairy Queen, now the cops got a confession. So there's no way these trio girls can spin it. Because they're all in the video, they're all doing this, like, yeah, like, like what Hope said, Miss Hope said, that, that's dumb, and I agree with her 110%, because if you're going to do a crime, you, you drop all phones, you drop all type of social media, don't do that. Remember what happened to them cats that stole the man's, um, iPad and some money out of his truck, and then they decide to make a photo or make a video on it, and it popped up in his iCloud a few months ago. Yeah, you know, a lot of these young criminals, they they just not thinking. They want this instant gratification, this instant popularity, and they don't even realize not only are you going to incriminate yourself, but you're also giving the cops confessions that they can use in the court. To say, weren't you there on this day? And was this on your phone? And was this on your social media? Yup, done deal. So, if they do get arrested, which pretty much will happen, hopefully they don't do too long of a time. They, they, they may make it community service or a fine, but you know, who, who knows, Miss So, it's just social media can be your best friend or your worst enemy. So you guys comment down below, let me know what you think about this story. See you later, everybody.